UFA 2024. Are you ready for the Street Fighter 6 5v5 finals? Let me hear it make some noise! All right, this is it. We are down to our last two teams. And I did want to pick someone else to speak to from Team World side, but Noah said, I want to talk. So I'm just going to give the mic to Noah and let Noah do his thing. Lamp Cook. Uh, Hurricane knows nothing about Street Fighter. Oh he said what? that uh, Team UK was going to be the best team. That's why uh, he doesn't know what he's talking about. And people need to get off Twitter. Thank you very much, Noah. <laughs> God, this kid is so I, I have better. a question for you. How do you feel about Noah's play style in general? Woo! So what's the play style? I think he's so crazy, <laughs> crazy guy. I'm sorry. Uh, how, does, how does the rest of Japan feel about Noah's play style? Everyone thinks he's, he's so crazy, crazy players, but he's so strong. We, we, we know, of Ooh. course we know he's so strong, but he's so crazy. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens. We got Team World and Team Asia. Wait, hold on, hold on. How come Daigo didn't want to go first? I called him out and he didn't oh, want to go first. Oh, my God. Oh, are you calling Daigo out like that? Uh, because he's tired. <laughs> His age is so high. Yeah, I'm sorry. He's so tired oh. now. He needs oh. break time. Oh. Yeah. Oh. All right, no more talking. Now. Let's get to playing. Ah, uh, not now. Ah, uh, I've got a stitch. Uh, he said Daigo's <laughs> age is so high. He's tired. He said it's bedtime. Oh. I, he what? said, Uncle, you too old for this. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Can I apologize to the people at home and the people at the back for laughing so hard? Bro, uh, you know what, guys? Like, we knew our mics were live and we we're like, all right, Jammers, let's stay silent. Oh. And then Noah took the mic and <laughs> I'm sorry. Wow, <laughs> the call out on Hurricane. This Daigo's is age is so high. Yeah, shout out to Hurricane. <laughs> at home, Hurricane was just like casually watching the stream and getting hit by a stray like that. Like, oh, can you, can, what you, am I doing? can you imagine like having the second monitor open while you're working <laughs> and you're waiting for the finals to come on and you just hear your name? He's like, he knows nothing about Street Fighters. Wow. Oh my God. Listen, you know what? I'm, I'm, I've said it before. I'll say it again, man. Like, Noah is one of my favorite players in the series. He's not my favorite right now. He's an exciting player to watch. He's the only guy who makes Luke fun to watch because Luke is boring as hell, let's be real. Uh, and he's a funny guy as hell, you know, like, he, he wears his hurt on the sleeve, and I love this, but you know what? Let's stop talking about players, time to talk about the game, NL Akuma against Noah, and his look. How long until the first burnout, Jack? Well, here's the thing, right? He's already at full gauge already, but he hasn't had the chance to actually get going. That's why NL's not going to do it. Gets the delay into the EX out of the flame there. And sometimes against Noah, you need to go for the juggler, his own juggler, and then you have to test his defense. He's not afraid about certain defensive choices, but he will take advantage when you give him some breathing space. Yep. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you got bars. You got drive. Use it. Where's the drive rush? There we go. Fireball game, you've got to wait. And then has been very offensive in the first game, and then immediately in the corner. It's time to get! All right, lovely low forward there into the forward fierce, and he's going to go for some safe sweep Oki instead. He didn't get the safe jump there. That might not be what he was going for there, Damascus, but it worked out for him. All right, simple conversion, but yep, not meaty. Race that should be the round, NL, actually. Like, should be more than enough here. Three bars. That was a barely challenged round at all. NL simply doing business right now. Now the thing is, like for me, NL is one of the most efficient and one of the most vigilant players on there. But going against Noah, I actually thought this would be like a bad matchup. But Noah's been an excellent vanguard. But they are sometimes, especially against the Asian players, uh, Damascus, they actually kind of put that huge barrier in front of him to make sure he doesn't get started and get into his comfort zone. Yep, and that's what I like to see. Let's see if Noah can uh, bring something in, you know, like spending all of the resources as he is known for the perfect parries out there. Like, it feels like he always gets ready for a potential drive rush after a perfect parry. Already burned out, but that is his comfort zone. Yeah, listen, he, he said, I've been in the trenches. He said at EWC, I've been in the trenches. I know it's like, you won't survive the second wave if I get it. And if he just blocks a little bit more, nice. lovely jump in there. And he will get the flash knuckle conversion across the screen, but he will cancel into Vulcan Blast and said, good choice. So if he just threatens him with Sand Blaster here, he could burn him out. Yep, oh, clean anti as well. And else panicking right now. The tech is correct. One more. And you know what? That DI was quite an interesting one, but it works. Noah the Prodigy once again with a great decision. I actually love how he handled 
and now having basically a sliver of drive gauge left because it's like you don't want to block my projectiles full screen. I can go for the gusto here. So it really allowed it to close the distance and then get that DI. As arbitrary it may have been, it didn't work out like you said. Oh, oh, oh that's huge. No, that's huge. Oh, that's gonna hurt. All right. Simple, unfortunate drop. But you know what? Get the drop out of the way today. CPT is tomorrow. Today is technically the side event. There's still money on the line. You want to be ready. Drive reversal. And now Noah the Prodigy looking to keep the opponent away. Oh, he gets the second part of the round, has to connect. That's the part you want. And he got the extra plus frames as well there. But then the close the gap and lovely tech there from Noah as well. I have been looking at this recently. That I think when you... Never mind. That might be... Is he going to spend mm. it? No. No need. Oh, he did. Okay, he does. Okay. He does. Actually, it's to get a, a more certified guess. He still has to consider both super arcs from... Couldn't he kill with the no. driver's cancel? Actually, if he wanted to That's, burn himself out, yeah. but he's more confident at the situation. Oh, no. And he's oh, going to get punished. No. He's going to lose for it. Oh, ah. he's bleeding now. And that's the thing, right? I'm wondering, let me know, chat, if I'm wrong, whether one driver's cancel in that combo could have potentially killed. And you're right, it's probably NL not being sure if it would kill or stay to the last pixel. Does not want to be burned out. And unfortunately, loses the game. Noah takes game number one. It's all first to you guys. I do think sometimes in this game, you just have to trust your gut feeling in terms of let me exhaust all the options and the resources to try it. But the problem is that backfires incredibly badly. Ooh. Speaking of which, his health hey. bar is going to get hey. back to base. Hey. That is going to be hey. a mistake that they hey. didn't want to put in the game. Hey. That should hey. be the round. Hey. Not, Not killing yet. You know what? This is killing Noah looking solid as hell. Match points. Kind of oh, flicked Noah. his stick when he did that cross car. I like Let's that. Let's go. Feels good to do cross I feel it's one of the most dominant modes in this game. You know, like you've got to do it in this game, man. Yeah. Like seriously. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Noah has been very correct. The first round was really in NL's favor, and we have not really seen NL in a threatening situation since then. But the shimmy is correct. It's gonna go straight to the corner. Great right, uh, And he's low on dry gauge, but he doesn't care. It's irrelevant. And a DI into the throw there from Noah. He's actually been handling NL's drive impact attempts incredibly well. There's so some good stuff from Noah. He's got a super art on deck. Oh no, oh my god, and that is dead, my friend. This is Akuma. Listen, bro, we call it burnout. Noah calls it V-Trigger. He's one game late. That's about all he's powered up. He just plays. Noah the Prodigy getting game number one. Yo, he wants Daigo. Yo, listen. Yeah, go. Yeah, he yeah, said you. Yeah. He said come, come here. Yeah. <laughs> he's tired, <laughs> man. Yeah. Leave him alone. Uh, yo, Daigo, listen, bro. Please, he's I'm, tired. Your I'm your biggest fan. Bro, you've been playing fighting games for longer than I have existed. Do you know what? I need to play you. I love this stuff. I love the I love energy. It. I love the exuberance. Some people might call it hubris. Do you know what's funny? I always say, we all say this all the time, for people that don't know at home. Daigo always looks like, you know in those first person games where you wake up at the first level and you have no idea where you are? <laughs> da Daigo always looks like that. He's the guy every day. Yeah, he's every like, day. what on earth? <laughs> I, where am I? Where am I? What am I doing? But as soon as he sees Street Fighter, he knows what's up. He knows what he's doing. But I wonder, is he going to take the bait? He's streaming. Listen, he's iron streaming. Daigo's viewers, yeah. T tell it, listen, Daigo's viewers, you must tell him. It's time to show you. Know him, what? You know? Okay, I'll tell Go you what. Teach hit, this right. kid. Exactly, Chad. Teach this kid a lesson. We're gonna, we're gonna do something fly. Please. If yeah. if Daigo wins, he has to give Noah a free copy of the book. Oh yeah. He has to give yeah, a free copy of the book. Yeah, if him. Noah loses, what? Noah <laughs> no, is like, no, he's like, come on, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> But this guy is so like. I, lo I, I love it. He's so good. I love Noah, man. I love Noah. I'm saying it. I'll say it again. You know, I, <laughs> this guy is. <laughs> no, you know what? No, legit. I learned. I learned so much about him at uh, EWC and just the mentality. And do you know what? Just going back to the game as well. As he's just waiting for whoever to come. Now, do you know what? They don't even know. The Japanese are all congregated Bro, together. They have no like, idea. They said, "You want to fight him? I don't want to fight him." <laughs> They're like. What the hell is this burnout? Do I have a gauge? But no, you know, I'm so glad you bring that up, right? Yeah. Because I think there's a common trend here. It's a boss, he said it. He said Street Fighter 6 is confusing after he lost to Noah. And then you heard Tachikawa in English, clear English, clarity yeah. was there. Yeah, he up. said they all think he's crazy. Well, Goichi? But he's good. Goichi? Is it Goichi? It looks like it's Goichi. Are oh, you friends of the wolves? They're sending Go Uno. Listen, he's the man who is known on multiple games to have one of the strongest defenses. And honestly, against the offensive master that Noah is, that might be a great choice. But Listen. just thinking how long the Japanese team has been chatting, it just shows 
how not how unsure they are about how to take Noah down. Because oh, if you're brilliant. sure about this, someone who's there like, yeah, that's me. I'm taking him down right now. The fact yeah, that they had never. to talk for like five minutes about who takes Noah down Dude. means they're already shook. Noah it, already won half of the battle there. I don't know how many of you guys have an office job, but if you have never seen an executive board meeting, I think you've just seen <laughs> what one looks like. They said, what do, what do we do? How do we, how do we change the stocks? in the company. But no, you know what? Noah is a, a very good data collector, to be honest, for the team, not just for himself, but for the team, because they can just let him go, go nuts, have a good time. And he's confident in his ability anyway. To, he can probably, he can take out, he can definitely take out that whole team by himself on a good day. I, I mean, think, today might be the good day. Uh, yeah, I think in a team tournament, Noah is like literally the best teammate to have. Because Noah already plays unhinged regardless. So true, with true. The, the solid life insurance he's got behind, with the four players insurance he's got behind, he's going to be like, yeah, I'm going to play my game, whatever. You know, win or lose, doesn't change a thing. Now, I think it might be better if Goichi goes with... Because he has got a Kami. I think he's been using the Kami once or twice in uh, Street Fighter League Japan. Shout out to Vicious kind of things over there. And it's been great to watch SFL Japan. I think we're on episode four or something. And he's gone with Chan Li instead. Is the team tournament? I'm only worried because of uh, Tencho kicks the input and how Noah plays. That's the ah, see, I swear. Nah, no, 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 no. <laughs> nah, look, I haven't even started. I, that was the one thing I was worried about. Literally, it was that. But that was a very good exploited angle of the jump there from Noah. Ooh, he knows his face. All right, let's see. Goichi is gonna be, you know, in his trademark patience, reactive style, proactive a bit, obviously, looking to just keep. Noah away. The question is, how long can you keep the storm away? And last time, simple fireball. But the thing is, as she throws that Kikoken, nice anti here there with the tension kicks. When she throws that the Kikoken, you just gotta be careful how you wanna approach. And Noah looks pretty comfortable not approaching recklessly. So. Right, he's in burnout, but that's fine. Just waiting a bit, and. That's one of the things I like about Noah. Is like I feel like people only think Noah is constant offense, but being patient is also something he can do. And taking his time. Look at this, the reactions, the way he will counter any of your decisions. I think people talk about his offense too much that they tend to forget that his defensive decisions are world class. It's it's such a experience on the job sort of thing. Lovely uppercut there. Yeah, it's experience on the job because my thing with him is he's hard to understand how he's going to defend himself in burnout, how he's trying to escape burnout. Because people think you have he's going to follow your philosophy yeah. on how to deal with burnout. And he goes completely against the game, like you mentioned time and time again. All right, classic. The driver's cancel. Would want to get some momentum. Noah just continuing. Nope. No the up kicks. Giving some momentum. Great one. Again, Noah, he's the momentum beast, and that's all he wants right now. Low forward in Kikokoka, and he didn't want to do the cancel to burn himself out. And there's that another angle that was the dead zone there for Chun Li. Just backs away. He's got a level three as well, but I don't think he wants to use it this round. But no one might Ooh. not give him the chance. Oh no, the drop, but that's all right. He still gets a change. But let's see if Goichi can escape this one. Goichi with a CA. Nope, not going to happen. Noah is still unmatched. Goichi back to the drawing board. Okay, looks locked in and he looks laser focused. And there you go, drive rush into Tencho kicks again. It looks like he just he had he got a couple of hits. He was able to control and breathe a little bit in neutral, but it wasn't able to capitalize and convert into something massive to deter Noah. And that's difficult in and of itself. That's a separate job entirely. Absolutely. Great one. The check, simple and efficient, the stand light punch. Ooh, the shimmy is correct as well. Goichi. Taking a good option right now, straight to the corner. Oh, that was not even a counter hit or anything. I'm not sure what happened, but perfect parry. All right, that wasn't a, a full-on meaty roundhouse there, but it did work out. And there's the jab, but no conversion there from Goichi, but he wants to get the back throw, Damascus. Right, back to fireball game, yeah, Noah closes the distance, and there we go. Another conversion. He's very, very close to burnout, but that's fine. He's going to get the opening into the driver's cancel. That should be more than enough to get the kill level one. And once again, Noah, the prodigy, is on match points. I love how he set up that meaty roundhouse as well, by the way. It's, sometimes it's actually kind of hard to tell if they're going to go for it or not, because he can still walk a couple of frames and probably sneak in a throw. But when that roundhouse connects, well, the screen will tell you. All right. Yeah, see the neutral jump as well. People, they just aren't sure what to do. And as he's moving around and being elusive, the gauge goes up. And when he's past the halfway point in the gauge, that's when it becomes an absolute nightmare. And you can see it here, literally being illustrated to us. I love to see it. Product management, great anti-airs again. Goichi.
still an amazing player in that regard. Going to try to get something. He's got the bars if he wants to close the round. But again, the perfect par is Noah. So good at flipping the momentum upside down. Just walks there, encroaches on that space, keeps him locked in. That neutral jump run has, has been annoying Goichi for a little oh, while oh, oh. now. Yeah. And there's the reaction. Yeah. I think only level one will be needed here. Not no, even. Not even, not even, not even. Listen, I feel like if there's a man on earth I would never DI is Goichi. I've seen the guy taking the dragon rushes of all time. <laughs> the craziest moment of Dragon Ball in any game. I am not trying to DI. Noah may be a bit too ambitious on this one. And a great one, Goichi. Reclaiming the momentum, he's got the three bars, he's got the pressure right now. But again, these backdashes have been paying off. Is he gonna lock? No, he's not gonna do it. I think that would have been an interesting choice to do it there, but he's burnt himself because he's burnt himself out anyway. He's gonna try and bait the DI. Yeah, he's trying to bait the DI, but you're giving him drive gauge back. Yeah. Oh boy. Which he's always gonna try to uh, make it work. Oh, yep, not gonna juggle correctly. One button will do it. You got to watch out, right? Don't try him too much. There might be a level three coming out. This overhead is blocked. Lovely defense there from Goichi, showing us why his defense is some of the best in the fighting game business in general. He doesn't want to get. Oh. <laughs> Jammers, I respect the hell out of this power. This is the power you've been blessed with as the man who's got the mic. There we go. All right. So, what we've done. What we've done there is an absolute master. <laughs> is he still calling them out? Yes. Listen. Oh. Oh. oh, oh. Wait, uh, you know it? what? He answered the challenge. <laughs> Guys. Wow. We are about to get Daigo. Listen, Noah came in and was like, I called Daigo out. You know, he left me on red. And then he tried again. He slid <laughs> into <laughs> these DMs. I got the was not even red. Not even, not a thing. And now Daigo is like, all right, kids. It is time. <laughs> he got the double. He got the double blue tick, mate. Oh, oh my god! He got All the right. double blue tick. <laughs> he finally got red at 7:43 p.m. He said, <laughs> "He said, please respond." <laughs> he said, uh, "Send me a Cuba photo." Please, I showed you my respond. drive gauge. Please respond, bro. Please respond. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> I'm sorry. We're gonna get in so much trouble. <laughs> uh, right. So. Like we said before, he is, uh, he's one of the most entertaining players. I think more people are excited to hear what he has to say, yeah. and then it kind of translates uh, into yeah. the gameplay there as well. And I, I think as long as he continues to play and continues to be successful uh, in his uh, traveling as well, because this is the, probably the first year he's actually gone gallivanting, not just and it's America. Really the good chance to Twisted Minds, by the way. Yeah. Excellent pick, you know, in the name of Noah. And the fact that Twisted Mind is very okay with sending Noah around is, is a great thing, right? Because we've had him three three times in Europe already. He was at yes. DreamHack, he was at the Mixup, yeah. and now he's at UFA. And so far, he's doing great. Daigo pulling up with the Akuma. Can Daigo make it more jammers? I think this is the huge question. Uh, well, I'm worried because uh, Tachika did say like his age is pretty high, so he might he might need to go to bed soon. But <laughs> But that's such a bar, I, I can always <laughs> I can always give him an extra fifteen minutes before uh, Uncle Daigo has to. You know when they randomly fall asleep on the couch, like they just you start talking and they just fall asleep. They're not off. He's gonna lose to, to Noah. Like back in my days, there was no driver. Okay, Grandpa, go to bed. Uh, yeah, that, it might be time. <laughs> but lovely anti air there. He can burn him out, but he was worried about a defensive option there from Noah. So I guess he's gonna let him. He's just handed in the rope. Alright, it's footy game right now, and Noah. On Ooh. the back foot on this one. This Daigo. happened against Lex. Yeah. Ah, good, good drive rush there to change and move the screen. So he jumps into the fireball there. All right, let's see. Daigo, slow. Slow pace, slow entry. There we go. Drive rush to get the opening, of course, the classic. No other prodigy sending Daigo straight to the corner. The shimmy is correct. Another chance for no other prodigy to keep that momentum up. Oh, no one's here. Okay, good response there. But there's a very awkward distance in this game where War Drive Rush is probably one of the scariest options and it's relatively close in that mid-range. Goes for the delayed medium punch and he gets good damage there, but no level three to delay the recovery process. So I guess he wants more damage before he lands the big hit there, Daigo. That could have been an anti the uh, super. Oh! oh! Got it. Got it. bad kid! Mm -hmm. Go to, you're too young for this! I've been doing this for years! All these Akumas, they represent one month Hang of on gaming. A minute. But let's. Oh, hey. no, hello, 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 hello. Do you know what? Hey, I know no. Damascus for a split second, Daigo's insane. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I was like, please don't make me lie, Hello, I was getting hyped. Let's go. Daigo! 
taking the first game of Noah. And is this the case of Noah being a bit like, oh my god, I'm playing Taigo? No, you know? I don't think so. No, no, no. All right. He's composed with this punish here, and he's gonna flash knock his way across the screen. Try to bait another dragon uppercut there. All right, conversion as well. I go in the corner, wakes up, wants to take, but he gets the throw as well. It's interesting that was on the back throw. Usually you take with a, you know, you block and take at the same time. Sometimes, uh, yeah. sometimes the Japanese players do like a, a, a micro walk into a yeah. forward throw to catch you trying to shimmy them. They won't do low forward and commit. They'll, they feel confident in that option. And oh. yeah, no, don't try it right. Daigo was like, ah, let's try. Unfortunately for you, Daigo, Noah is under 30. So he's still around, he's still around with all of these DIs. I mean, he didn't move <laughs> against the Raging Demon. <laughs> yep. That's a different thing entirely, though. Nice forward throw there from Daigo. Nice, nice call in. Yep. Delaying the bottom, getting the counter hit. Hey. Uh, 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 uh. Is he right in the corner now? Ah. I think he is. Yeah, he's in the corner. All right, there we go. The parry is there. Right Dude, do you know the success rate of getting a perfect parry is so low across the board That's since worth. the game came out? It's so hard. It's very difficult. And it's a different timing to V-Shift than Flash Knuckle in Street Fighter V. Yes, very absolutely. Different. It's such a hard one to get used to anyway. All right. Two neutral we go. There we go. Overhead, great opening. Noah should yeah, be able dead. to get enough to kill. It's Akuma. Goes for the level one. Noah takes the round. Great work on this one. And there's just so many avenues and opportunities to convert into something. It's, and I think there's a whole universe of mind games with Drive Rush Cancel and Block, by the way. It's actually insane how many situations you've got to consider. And if you're falling asleep at the wheel for one scenario, the guy's got 30, 40%. It's, it's that crazy. Yeah. All right, Brago Kick, F Ford's favorite. Hey, listen. <laughs> shouts to F Ford. <laughs> Without pump, don't shout to my man F Ford. Well, he's burnt out again, but yeah. he's got. Daigo in the corner, and this the position advantage in Burnout is a massive deal when talking about it in general. Trying a perfect parry at the medium, but didn't quite get it. Uh, you know what, Daigo is tired of this one. Yep, Keen Antier wanted to go for the Shimi, but a great delay, crouch, medium punch. Noah taking the right decisions on the defensive side. Even when you limit his options, he's, he's, <laughs> he's so crazy to catch. Good block on the overhead there, but he'll catch him with something else later. I promise you that. Noah will. All right. Version is clean on Daigo's side, looking to get some more. Oh, no cancel from the Demon Flip there, Damascus. And this is going to be huge, oh. but he misses the cancel, unfortunately. And now, that's a golden opportunity for Daigo. You know, get the chip slowly but surely. Maybe walk him down to the corner, exactly. No, he's got to watch out for the level one. Yeah. Okay. Until, oh. Oh, that's, that's, safe, blocked, that's fine. But yeah, that's, yeah fine. that's fine. And now we're back with the bars. You know what? Let me spend. Let me spend all of this. I've got money. It's time. Yeah. Payday. If it's not a dry rush cancel, he'll do the sand oh! blaster and lovely block there. The bait. I'm telling you, he just understands these clutch situations. And when people really want to take their turn back against his playstyle, he says, "You're fighting me. I know me." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Been there, done that. Let's go. Right. Oh, the good check, but no conversion on this one. I like Daigo. You know, staying at this range. Oh, no, we've punished as well. I'm not risking Daigo. We're punishing the demon flip. He's correct and goes straight. He's going to burn him out with the Empyrean's end. And he's not going to get the wall spot because he's not close enough. But this is still a good scenario. Still got some supers to work with as well. Yeah, if he's not jumping, he's going to do something else. Ooh. Great delay as well. It was very late. Demon sleep there. Daigo is just going to try to get someone. No anti here on this one. The drum runners. Another drop on this. And that was Daigo's solution. The DI out of range. Daigo evens it up. It is the last round of this set. Can Daigo stop the absolute onslaught that Noah has been? One round to decide. There's a forward throw here. Daigo after might take another one, but yeah, there we Ooh. go. He got it. First one. But Noah still has options on defense. Of course. It's going to be sent straight to the corner. There we go. Going to get some more. Yep, that's going to be a demon flip. Oh, this yeah, time keep the XDP it, works. He done the option select, but keep him there. Ooh and this is brilliant. He's limited his options. But hey, as we've seen before, Noah looks for the neutral jump. He might jump forward. He's got the super arts to work with. What is the call going to be? All right, Daigo is going to wait right now. Daigo going to be like, yeah, play the game. Oh, no, another one. Noah has been dropping so many of them. Noah, you need to clean up your game. But unfortunately, the uncle is out to send the kids back to bed. Daigo Umehara, obviously, coming up and stopping Noah's furor. Listen, Big Smiley, I tell you, viewers, this is how you do it, guys. You know, guys, I was winning tournaments. This guy didn't even exist. What is he doing there? <laughs> Listen, 
a wise man. Do you man. realize the, the magnitude of this statement? He was winning tournaments. <laughs> Noah was not a thing. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> he's here for the future. I love him. A wise man once told me, be careful what you wish for. <laughs> you asked for it, you got it. Massive oh. deal. That was actually really good, though. Again, I, I don't know what. I want to check Daigo's uh, BPM. I, 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 <laughs> I need heart rate monitors in this game. Seriously, I really do. I, I need I need heart rate monitors yep. of all the players, especially when they're dealing with drive rush, cancel, and block. I need I need all that stuff. But um, no, that was some good stuff there. And again, he took out two players. Yeah. It's a big deal yeah. in this final hey, phase he, here. By all means, he did his job. Taking two players down, let's see. Like I said, I think Noah, in team environments, is a very good data collector. I'm hoping we get to see him in uh, Street Fighter League US, to be honest with you. Just by watching him play recently, I think he'd be very good in that kind of environment. Scare the crap out of a lot of players here. But Nephew steps up to the plate next with that jury. Now, I was actually streaming the other day and someone spoke to me. They said, it's amazing how many characters Nephew's capable of playing but doesn't play at the highest level. And I was like, well, look. Jury's the one he's taken to the dance and given him the most success. That's probably the most where the comfortability is as well. And also, you need to understand it's like what would give him the same reward for his style? I think Jury really fits him really well. I can only see a Luke because he played a bit of Luke at the end of SF5, but I don't think there's that many characters that, you know, Nephew would want to take around the world to travel and compete with the CPT. You know, maybe a Chun Li, but I think Jury's more than capable of doing it. It's, you know, like in this game, in fighting games overall, it's often about who you gel with more than who is the better character, right? You you feel like you're having fun, you feel like that character... Like, I don't know, if you guys play fighting games, obviously, you know there's one character that just clicks. It just works, that's like, ooh, that's the one. That that's the, the one. one indeed. And right, he's already got Daigo trapped in the corner, low on drive gauge as well. And then... He's out the EX Fireball here as well. The interesting thing is we talk about it time and time again. Jury is actually underrepresented uh, in regards to her character strength in this current version of the game. But again, there was characters that got significantly stronger. Obviously, new DLC characters. They're running the joint at the moment. And that should be the round if he gets this right, Damascus. There you have it. No extra stocks needed. Hey. But he gets the damage there. But I think that was one of her strongest changes because her target combo, I think the first two hits is like negative three. And the pushback is mental. So it's actually a very good change. You can cancel into the super from it. In. All right, oh, great shimmy there. The walk back, absolutely perfect from Nephew. And he's keeping the momentum real quick. And that's one of the things, right? Like having a team that has so many varied play styles as well is such a strength because you just had to go for the craziness that is Noah. And now you go for the control that is Nephew. Such a different one. It's time for level two. Okay, he delayed the activation of the follow-up just in case Daigo did a drive reversal. We actually did, but at a later point. So he's still got the two miles out of Daigo. And that is because that is in Feng Shui. That roundhouse becomes a lot more deadly. No cancel there to the EX Bible, unfortunately. He's got Rage of Demon. Is he, is he gonna give us some more content? He needs to, yeah. Now he can go for Rage of Demon. Ooh. No, he doesn't even need to. Hey, 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 hey. There we go. That is going to be the round for Daigo, but obviously, right, next round, still a good position, because both of them on zero bars. Okay to use level three in this situation. That's a very big deal there. He managed to force Daigo to get the three bar spent for the round, and he drive rushed in with that jab, sets up some Oki as well. And that Rago high kick as a button to catch out buttons or delay tech on your wake up, I think is one of the best things about him. The reversal choice works. And now if you're closing the distance. Daigo still okay. Great parry. I love the spacing on Daigo's side. Great one. Gets the whiff punish. If I'm not mistaken, these they, these guys did play at DreamHack Summer, didn't they? The top 16? It was these two. I believe they did. I, I think, think it was a 2-1 to Daigo, I think. I believe they did on Daigo 1. You might be right. Damn. It only just popped into my head. Yeah. I know these two have played before. I can't remember oh. where. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Not dead, at least. Not dead, but... Burnout situation, close to the corner. You've got the level one. Oh, this is good. This is really good. Yeah, Daigo is going to play the fireball game. He's Six, not going to demon flip no. out either. He can't demon flip out. Ah, too far from the wall. All right. But the button is going to work in Nephew's favor. Nephew taking game number one over Daigo. Let's go. And the more Nephew gets exposed to the international competition, the Japanese players, the European players, I think his understanding and just his demeanor when he's playing Street Fighter 6, it becomes better and better every time I watch him. It's really good to see how far Nephew has come over the years as a player. 
All right, the team Daigo Kamuri needs one back. Great neutral jump that's going to work. He's starting to realize, right, Nufu likes to go for these high commitment normals, the one that has supposed to control the ground. That's going to block as well. Oh, that's the round. Yeah, if he spends everything, that's oh, the yeah. round. There we go. You've got the money. Cash it out. Make this one work. I wonder, next version of the game, if they're going to give that a scaling penalty, the Adamant Flame, the heavy yeah. version, because basically the next hit is still 100%. Yeah. So he just gets time. a fat combo. We see it all the time. Lovely combos. Always surprising, you know, to be home of a damage. Into the corner we go. First throw. Taigo just going for the simple one. Hasn't been really uh, going for the double throw, you know, in Forum situations. Always goes for a boss of the Shimi. And I think Nephew has identified that. Good discipline from uh, Nephew, though. Because, yeah. again, uh, a lot of this game is based about what the guy's going to do on defense or your opponent's going to do on defense. And if they're not teching, you have to open them up another way. But you never know if they're going to do a parry, a reversal. So you really got to take your chances. Speaking of which. Okay. Nephew looking good. Touching it into the corner. Daigo not pressing a single button. You can see the patience on Daigo's side. Trying, but good challenge from Nephew. Going to get the back throw. It's starting to be longer for Daigo. Holding it out here with the fireball. He needs one clean jump in or one heavy attack, but he doesn't get the opportunity. He was forced on defense there. Doesn't block the overhead. And Nephew is looking to run away with this one, Damascus. Oof. All right. Not much on this. It's still a match point for Nephew. Great block on the overhead. Daigo. A lot of the guys are getting him to block overheads today. Damn, are you guys really taking advantage of, the, of Uncle Daigo? Oh. Uh, they're there trying, but PC setup, baby. <laughs> we out there. Right. But he can do stand fierce the block string, or he can consider the level one. And he does, he does the stand fierce instead, but he saw the parry being held. He just wasn't quite sure what it was going to be there. And what's Daigo going to do? Is he going to set up a safe jump or something else? Mm, one more chance on this. Gets to throw this time. And there we go. Daigo able to even this one up. Daigo is still in. Listen, he eliminated Noah from this team. He's looking to continue to eliminate the second American from this team world. Remember, guys, that after Nephew, if you happen to beat Nephew, you still got Big Bird, Chow and Zed to deal with. And uh, they haven't even used Zed yet at all today. Zen has been good played. I don't think he's played today on Team World. Uh, they're chilling. Great investment. Of <laughs> course. <laughs> Mate, this is the FIFA like Team World. <laughs> Like, the whole team is like... You know when oh, you open oh. the pack and you get the Golden Legend? Oh, yeah, yeah like... that's my team. <laughs> All right, here we go. Try and close the distance here. And I always notice, like, in this... When I've watched these two play, at least each other, from what I recollect from DreamHack stuff, if it's not the fireball game that's making Nephew struggle, it's just around capitalizing certain situations. Mm -hmm. Trying to turn it around. Good delay tech there. Yeah, Steve, it's not the fireball game that pushes him away. How can he still close it out? Because Daigo could still win this round. Yeah, definitely can. One clean hit into the driver's cancel. It's, that, it's get just the kill? that range there. Yep. Jury has a hard time. If you're not oh, on range, oh, yeah. Oh, the driver's DP, bro. That was Shades of Street Fighter Force again. That was the Kara DP I've seen for years. Dude. If you can't do her level one at a certain angle to catch the fireball and the character, it's just difficult for Jury to deal with that without doing a raw jump and falling into the fireball track, as you mentioned. That's what I noticed about when these two played before. He said, Daigo went back to the basics of basics. This guy wrote a book, and that is the Street Fighter book being live. The basic fireball game, DP, cleanest game, immaculate play. Got it. Yes. And I love that decision because it saves and preserves his drive gauge. I know he hasn't got the resources for super, but he can still try and sneak in the round from a drive rush cancel. There's a drive rush. Oh no, again. Daigo has not been super successful on the EXDPs, but you know, keeps going for them. Right now, it's going to be last round for both of the players, but Daigo sitting on three bars, big damage, accessible from any moment. Overhead attempt that's going to be blocked. A lot of the overheads have been blocked today, I, I will say. I know people some here have been getting hit, but it's been more like a 60-40 of being blocking the overheads. Hey, Jammers, have, have we seen an Akuma command grab yet? Don't try it. Unless it's going to hey, uh, burn I'm, him I'm out. I'm just saying, I have not seen a command grab yet. Unless it's going to burn him out or take the rounds, you're not going to see it yet. Right. And even then, there's one called Raging Demon, but that comes under a prerequisite. So. That's true. That we've technically seen, but there we go. See, big damage. Not going to kill, but that's going to burn him out. No, he might not. But No, yeah, not. it's not a burnout. Yeah. Ooh, okay, really I close. thought so. Really close, but this one is... And that was cl right close enough to the corner. The perfect spacing in Daigo's favor. Daigo eliminates both. Noah and the few big smile on his face as he shakes his opponent's hand. Listen, the boss 
is back. It's time. Who do we get next? Who do you send? Uh, I'd put Zhao Hai up yeah. next. That would be a good call. Yeah. But they're going to do Big Bird instead. And ah. this is actually another good reason because Angry Bird, shouts to Angry Bird, he couldn't attend because of health reasons. So hopefully he's having a speedy recovery. Uh, he's been playing a lot of Akuma. He was actually planning to bring Akuma and take him the whole way through his UFA run. And what better partner to train with than Big Bird here. So he's got a very deep understanding and insight uh, to what Akuma plays mostly. And I'm pretty sure everyone has been eyeballing up Street Fighter League Japan and seeing how the guys have been getting on there as well. All right, let's see. Big Bird, obviously, his current season has been nothing short of exceptional. The Rashid performances have been incredible. He's had plenty of great placements, obviously. That big grand finals at EVO, winning Dreamhack. Bit of a counter performance at EWC, but happens, you know. It's like, it's the life of a competitor right now. He's looking, obviously, for a great weekend on the CPT side. For now, a chance at taking Daigo down, but Daigo is immediately opening in an aggressive way. I do think Akuma's played better from a defensive standpoint, reacting to a lot of things that people do. And I know Rashid has a couple of things in this matchup to do to help him win. But I think if you're overzealous, it makes it very easy for Akuma to put you in a nasty situation where you're spending bar you don't want to need uh, spend when you need it for the, like the level two, the proper drive rush conversions to get the safe jumpers, Rashid. Nice meet yourself there. I tried. Yeah, he missed Ooh. it, unfortunately. Ooh. That was supposed to catch the jump. Yep, unfortunate. Wanted the end here, did not get it. And Daigo now, one hit away. There we go, gets the hit, but no conversion. Another hit, no conversion again. Daigo giving chances to his opponent, regardless, taking the round. This is it. You can't, there's a lot of things you can't flop as a Rashid player. Again, there's, these Rashid players are few and far between. There's a reason why he's one of the best, one of the most technical characters in the game at the moment is you want to optimize them to the fullest. That's why only a handful of Rashid players are doing that. Mm -hmm. And there you go, gonna do EX well win shot, close the distance there as well, gets another grab. Is the level two coming out? And here comes your star. Ah, just time to not play. Oh, and he gets the opening as well. Still got the tornado to use. The overhead's going to block. There we go. Good drive reversal. Taigo reclaiming some space at least, trying to get in. But he was able to take away some drive gauge, and that's the most important part. And he will have to cancel into the Super Rashid kick and pose for the cameras and take that round here. And of course, when you do have to spend Rashid's level one, that means you're one step further away from that level two. But he does build bar pretty, uh, pretty quickly, sir. That was. That, did you see the corner carry of this? Yes. I'm going to throw a fireball and send you to the corner. You have to be certain <laughs> that they're going to respond yeah. with a regular fireball or they're just going to get clipped. That's when you commit to the heavy eagle spike because it's got very slow startups. So. Love to see this. Oh, he plays it. Daigo not in a good spot. Yeah. So things like we don't really see Daigo taking on Wake Up. It might be time for Big Bird to yeah. use this one. Oh no, he wanted. He wanted this one. He wanted to give us the content. Unfortunately, Big Bird takes the better of it. I reckon if that was a neutral jump, that might have caught the neutral jump. Mm. Maybe. Uh, there's a couple of people I've seen where they do a wake up button. If you jump, they can catch your jump because yeah. they recover in time. So maybe he was expecting a neutral jump. If not. And I'm not sure what that was, but... Straight guess happens. All right. Big Bird sending Daigo straight into the corner. Hey, see, you see yeah. that micro walk into the throw again? Like, listen, yep. Daigo does that a lot. It's one of the things, like, a lot of, a lot of the shimmy setups are really, like, tightly timed. Yes. So this really deletes that potential shimmy setup. There we go. Yeah. That it's almost, like you're saying, it's almost frame perfect. So the guy can actually walk forward and catch you while you have no time to walk away. So. Yeah. I totally get that. Lovely spin and mix to Antia as well. That's really good against the Demon Flip, especially when he's trying to escape the corner for both sides there. No cancel there from Big Bird. Okay. Big Bird still looking good. All right, is he going to go for the low or the throw? All he right, low. yep. High low mix up. Man got mixed. And there we go. At least the crash light punch. I create some space, but ooh, I'm not going to lie, Jammers. This, this I agree with this. Yeah. I do. Yeah. Because Daigo can't drive reversal. He, he has to block it. Yeah. A great defense there, and the driver also at the perfect time as well. Gets out of the spinning mixer. Daigo, slowly but surely, going for the fireballs, looking to maybe build up towards that comeback. Got to watch out, because fireball game is really good on Big Bird's side as well. Good space control there. I know he's put himself in the corner, but he's allowed himself a little bit of breathing room, burnt himself Ooh. out here. And I do think Rashid's one of the oh, worst yeah. characters in the game when he's Check. in burnout. Checkmate as well. Daigo building the meter. Early stun. So that's actually a good stun to take there for Big Bird, actually. Because yeah. he'll get the gauge back and he might be able to side switch and get out. All right. One, two, 
three. One more. Four. Do it again. Five. Outplayed. Outplayed. He's got to do it, man. Outplayed. Uh, simply, he played better. Uh, I listen, sometimes. Uh, I, I ain't gonna say nothing. Lovely interruption there. He's just like me. <laughs> you know? Crazy to even think that. All right. Loving the spacing here as well. And then he's gonna get the pick up too. Is he gonna summon the tornado? He will. Daigo's low on drive gauge, so he's gotta be careful about the next drive reversal. Okay, Ooh, okay. Don't chase it. Don't no, chase you it. Can't yet. Oh. You know what? That's kind of a lucky situation for Daigo, because that could have been way worse. Let's see Daigo right now. Dude, you, the you, dash. Oh, the movement is looking great, Jammers. You are very ambitious when you try to chase that tornado under yeah. certain circumstances. And is he not going to burn the level three? Next hit will do it, Damascus. Yeah. He's got to burn himself yeah. out for it, though. Eh. Not yet. Nice. He's looking, and there we go. The crouch medium kick straight into the cancel. Daigo just going to finish this one. There we go into the level three, saving the double match points on Big Bird's side. It is 1-1. Daigo looking to stay there. Daigo looking to create maybe the timeline of a Daigo OCV. It's been a while since I last seen this, so let's take a look. I like the fact that Big Bird tried to generate some space to help regenerate some drive gauge and get a little bit of breathing room, but I like that Daigo used basically Akuma's hoverboard and uh, chased him down, his walk speed. So he actually was able to match or mirror his movements in a good part. No baiting on the battery there. And I do think, I still stand by this, I think Rashid's one of the best characters at making you spend drive gauge or consuming oh, yeah. it in some fashion. He's very good at doing that to people. Absolutely forces you to take these decisions very early as well. Daigo's movement has looked really good, but that end here is extremely clean on Big Bird's side. Big Bird offering himself two more match points. Looking to send the legend out. Okay, round start EX5. I wasn't expecting that, but we got something at it. Here's the back throw. What's the next part going to be? Charges the whirlwind shot again. Lucky he recovered in time, because I know that, that whirlwind shot is some of the worst recovery as a fireball in the game. All right. Guess this one. Oh no, he was ready. He's going to do the new combo. No. no. Someone, uh, someone's put out a new combo that you could do from the corner from a can hit the eye. And that's going to be the game. That right, should, that's it. Yeah, that should be more than enough with Akuma. You've got plenty of balls, you've got everything. There we go for Daigo. Summon the Greater Storm. And the Big Bird sends Daigo out of the tournament. It's going to be 3 2 for Team Ward. Two players left. It's Tachikawa and Armper on. Uh, major sides. Who are we sending? Who are we keeping as an anchor? He's smart, so that might be that might be Tachikawa. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like you should just not send the guy who plays Ken. That's yeah, no, that uh, kind of okay, like no, let's, talk, well, let's have fun with this then. Yeah. Because you wouldn't send the Ken player now, but hypothetically speaking, if Big Bird wins this next one, aren't you just delaying the inevitable? Yeah, but rega regardless, it feels like Tachikawa would be the guy with a bit more you know, with a bit more of a chance, because it's not even just this, right? Modern Ed is uncharted territory. Of course. You know, outside, unless you're in Japan, you've never played a Modern Ed. That is good. You know, you, that's about it. So, Tachikawa bringing the potential surprise factor. Obviously, Big Bird, well versed in this matchup, playing a lot with Ending Walker online. The question is, how different is it going to be for this? And you know what? It's a great opportunity for Big Bird to just, like, test the waters, right? Remember that this weekend is a Capcom Pro Tour premiere event, right? There is a spot to Capcom Cup up for grabs this weekend. So today, being the introductory event, is a great way to just test, all right, what, what are these guys about? No, you are, I can't necessarily refute or disagree with that. And it looks like they actually went with the Tachikawa call here. And again, the only people that are really exposed to a modern ed are the Japanese contingent and a handful of players that visit Japan for some training or international events. And Big Bird is one of them. And Tachikawa had a fantastic time at EWC, by yeah. the way. Oh, Love yeah. the answer. I like his point he made on the interview before when Joe asked him why he's modern. He said, I look at the character for what they have to do, and Ed has to anti it. And if modern controls allows that to make it easier, it makes so much sense. Good uppercut there. Charges up with the Psycho Knuckle. It's a whirlwind shot there. And you know what? The development... Good round. The development of Ed has been very interesting. New stuff, new conversions with the, the Super Art 2, and just how they tackle the neutral in general. This character is forever developing and forever showcasing his strengths. I really love the development. It's been interesting to see that when Season 2 released, a lot of people were like, oh, Ed is cooked. Ending Walker included was like, mm, I think Ed is a big loser of that patch. And, you know, it turns out a couple of weeks later, he was the tournament with it. And the character starts to be more popular, especially in Japan, right? Because Tachikawa and Momochi running it through ranks and all of the brackets. But for now, Big Bird looking good, and he decides to go straight to level three. Not gonna burn him out yet. 
But this is a very good situation because he's not going to have level 3, but if he wants to do the decent combo, he's going to have to do something very bold on defense to yeah. get it. And oh, <laughs> he's going to do Psycho Chamber instead. He's going to lock him up here. This isn't going to burn Big Bird out. However, actually, he could do a Meaty Flicker and it will burn him out. Meaty Flicker should do it. Oh, -hoo -hoo. he stunned it this dead. Oh, man. My man got punched. Let's go. He dumped the drive rush to close the distance. Big Bird made his decision. He was at peace with that final call there. Really good. And then again, being elusive. These two characters are elusive in their own right. Gonna get that conversion into the Eagle Spike with the perfect parry. No punish there. Okay. Got it. Perfect Last well. minute there. And he's gonna set up something nice. Here comes another safe jump here. What's the mix gonna be? Try to parry instead. Yeah, I like that. You did a great way, you know, to just get away from the high-low situation. Back in the corner, though. And that's the round. He's got to do the full extension here. Get the drive rush cancel. So much scaling, but it's going to be the round. Close it out with Tornado. Nowhere near done. Yeah, Big Bird looking solid, as always, of course. Tachikawa back to the drawing boards. And then we're going to, going to just going to try to annoy that Rashid a bit, but Big Bird so far immediately starts successful. Tachikawa into the corner. And I do think Big Bird actually has some of the, uh, one of the better philosophies on the Ed matchup. He said the reason Ed does so well in Japan, I remember he said this at Evo, is because they play too safe and too preserved. So you need to kind of have a more aggressive, kind of more cutthroat style and really shake things up. But then maybe Tachikawa catch defies that because of the modern controls, but Big Bird has the right philosophy on fighting Ed. Yeah. All right, there we go. Going to get a perfect parry as well, Tachikawa. And I like, sorry to cut you off, I like that he's doing that. More people need to be confident in perfect parry overheads. Yes. I think more people need to try and start doing that because that's a, such a big game changer. Ooh. Speaking of game changers, Damascus. Ooh. It kind of feels like that was the moment where Big was like, you know what, I don't really know what to do. I'm going to throw this and see how it goes. Unfortunately, not in your favor. And the modern Ed takes the round. Great More answer. people have integrated DI into their neutral, man. I, I do it as well sometimes when I'm playing, and it's like, look, you know what? It's there. If they counter it, they counter it. If they don't, so be it. Safe jump coming again. What's it going to be this time? Safe jump this time. He actually went the legitimate route. All right. He's back to the throw right now. Yeah, got him again. Good See, I told you, <laughs> they're, they're, they're confident in doing it, man. And if you catch him, that would have been massive. Is that going to be the round? He's got to do the medium punch. Oh, he missed oh. the medium punch! Okay, he's still getting the shimmy. That's all right. Big Bird offering himself a match point over Tachikawa. I don't know if he used all the jungle points for the medium punch not to connect, but mm. that's something I'll try another time. But here comes a tornado for someone to deal with, and it's not us. Ah, that looks good. Tachikawa walking forward slightly just to block that tornado as well. Great answer. He's going to get his own conversion right now. The pressure is there, but Big Bird is not having any of that. Oh, no! Try to run away. Back dash probably. Safe jump again, and he wakes up with a button this time. I love how ignorant, or I say how stubborn he's being on defense, Tachika. He says, look, you take a guess, so will I. I won't believe in your mix-up. Right. Oh, the jump is, is clean. I think and he's done. That should be enough, I believe, Jammer. Nah. Is it? No, it's not. Watch out. Oh, and Tachikawa committed to the tech. Big Bird once again comes out on top. Big Bird sending his team to four and to one game away from being UFA 2024's International Team Cup champions. That is the back and forth these guys go. And again, one of the players internationally that has the most familiarity with the Japanese contingent is Big Bird. Yeah. Showed it there. Like I said, I think like one of the matchups I've been really trying to look forward to and study is Rashid versus Ed. Not part of me because I play Rashid, but it's just how... When you watch some of these matchups at high level or the top level, the perception and the pace these guys play the game at is, it's night and day to the vast majority of people playing the game. That's why it's super enjoyable. Did you see, did you see the water bottle police on screen, by the way? Oh. <laughs> Players, listen, don't, don't leave the water bottles between you and the camera. <laughs> Someone's gonna dash it out. <laughs> you know? Keep the camera clean. But up next, and the final chance for. Team Asia is going to be Armpur and his kid. Right, okay, so my, my theory is basically... Yeah. This is what I was worried about. GG's. <laughs> <laughs> he said GG's. Is it GG's? Are we talking okay. about two more yet? No, of course. There's still a game in the first to two. Armpur is an excellent Ken. He's just 
in uncharted territories right now, facing the one and only Big Birds in one of the matchups he favors the most. Well, let's see, Bagdash, great, perfect parry there. Big Bird stopping Ampro from even taking initiative. All right, he might go low to open things up. Oh, delay throw instead. They chased him down because it looks like Ampro tried to do a delayed escape there, but not quite sure what it was. Still trying to parry his way out of trouble, but it's not working this round. Yeah, it's not working this round. So he's got to resort to other options. It might have to be a sure you can. You might just have to firm it and lose some drive gauge the next time you get knocked down. Make your choice. All right, let's try to come in. Ooh, no cancel, perfect parry. I'm walking on Bro's favor, and of course, Ken's corner carry means you're in the corner straight away. Big Bird just delaying the button, successfully beating the Shimi attempt. Okay. Gets the man down. Second one's not going to work. You can tell how confident Big Bird is in this matchup just by the spacing alone. Spacing tells a lot about a player's uh, perception on the matchup, even if you're low on drag gauge or they've got uh, a huge abundance of it. So. There we go. Cleaner and efficient. Ambro had a chance to get this one. I think he started the Jinrai loop thinking maybe I could kill without a bar. And ended up using the bar at the end. Excellent awareness there. At this point, oh, Drive Rush overhead. Is he going to do... No, he's going to do the meaty stuff instead. And what a defensive choice there. Turned it around, did Ampera. Let's see if he can kind of capitalize and try and take the round, Damascus. All he's right. done it again. Big yep. Bird snuffed that out all the time. He's really good at just like oh, realizing deal with it. what you're deal with it. this time. Oh, it's time to not play. Oh, deal with Single it. Single player mode. I'll Looking dump all my lit. problems onto you. Deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, go. he might be. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, he's done. There we go. Big birds. Getting game number one. The Rashid is looking immaculate. I'm not going to lie, Jammers. We know he's one of the favorites this weekend, but he's showing why right now. And dude, what you got to worry about is the Rashid players are getting better and better at these impromptu conversions leading into that one singular B and B row. It's kind of like Dragon Ball. And it all roots, all roots linked to this one ender. And it does a lot of damage. And you end up in the corner. So these people, you need to be more familiar with it. Okay. Stand face on defense, interesting. If it works, it works. The EXDP is going to work right now. Ampro taking his sweet time. He's got the life lead at least, but that neutral jump is going to immediately be sniped by Big Bird. The throw is teched. Ampro looking. The perfect parries have been on point on his side at least. And we're back to neutral where the crouch medium kick is going to be the usual party starter. No bar needed. Ampro taking the rounds. All right, looking good here for Ampro, trying to make amends here for his team because, again, he's got a lot of weight on his shoulders to try and turn this around. This is a tall order, but it's not impossible. Just the whirlwind shot to close the distance. Okay. And the story you can, yeah, I don't want to deal with the pressure afterwards. You've got a free uh, game. Uh, the perfect parry again. Right, Ampro has been really, really good at this overall. Stopping Big Bird from pressing buttons. It's time for the Jinrai game. Oh no. no! The perfect angle for that DP to whip! Oh no, he's got to deal with it. What's the choice going to be? And he throw tech this time because he knew the barrier's not going to work out. Ah, nice time. The back dash, great one. Oh, I love this. Goes straight for the level 3. Gets away. And with that scaling... What does Chat think? He's dead. He's Let's dead. go. Good old-fashioned trial number 4. <laughs> Jump heavy. Crouch heavy button. Super. Let's go. It does the damage Optimal. you need. Tutorials are useful, guys. Hey, man, it saved him from the tornado. That was the bigger problem. Yep. Just another day. Love to see this as well. Great awareness on the Ampro side. He's taking the game over Big Bird. But right now, Big Bird unleashed. Goes straight for the offensive. He's like, you know what? I was not really doing great. Going defensive, going reactive. I am going to be active now. Rashid kind of allows that, and that's going to be the round. Unfortunately, Dragon Lash Flame doesn't get the positional advantage, doesn't get him out of a pinch there, and that is going to be potentially the last point here for this entire tournament, I think. Level two's here. All right, single player mode this time. He's not jumping again. Yeah, you're not <laughs> jumping not again, jumping, mate. But he's, the, he's still going to get hit. Oh, Jammer's going to be a ton of damage. That's going to be a lot of damage. There we go. Big Bird looking for potentially the final opening. The Void's blocked. I'm probably looking to escape. The Burnout's going to work. Not no conversion yet, Jinrai. It's time to exploit that. One burnout moment, Ambro. He's gonna get stunned. He's gonna get stunned. Hey, hey. Not quite. Okay, he wasn't close enough. No! Are you gonna he's still no. alive, Damascus! Charge up, he can't jump. Ooh. Ooh. No DP! Oh. No DP! From Ambro and Big 
Big Bird is gonna give the win to Team Ward. It's Big Bird, it's Noah, it's Nephew, it's Shao Hai. Also Zed, congratulations <laughs> to Zed. Great game, Zed, amazing. The way you hold your phone, like elite, elite gameplay. Team World will be your international Team Cup champion. Excellent play. They were the favorites today, without a doubt. And teams have tried to push them, but no one could take the win over them. Commiserations, obviously, to Team Asia for getting that second place. Great plays overall, but Team World a bit too good. Team World a bit too good. They live up to the name itself, but look. That was a teaser. That was the preliminary of oh, yeah. this weekend. If you thought oh, yeah. that was juicy action, wait till you see tomorrow and Sunday. But hey, these guys that can converse, talk about it, experiment with some new strategies here and there, and of course, get us revved for the weekend as well. Really enjoyed that. And obviously, you get to see all these guys in a different dynamic, not just a solo endeavor, it's now a team endeavor, and we get to see their kind of mindset towards that. And like you said, there was prize money on the line as well, so they're still showing their real cards here for that kind of play. Prize money and prizes, of course, you know, shout out to the guys. Obviously, we said it right when they announced this team. Obviously, Angry Bird was supposed to be there instead of Nephew. Angry Bird could not make it. I'm sure I hope you're doing well at home. Brother, you know, rest well. You know, health always uh, number one priority. Shout out to a man like Angry Bird. He's one of the UFA champions, right? Uh, one UFA in 2018. And Big Bird is looking to maybe put a second bird's name in the UFA history. Today, he's shown that He's looking extremely threatening this weekend. I do believe that we're sending it straight to the stage for Eli Joe. Let's go. Hey. All right, first let's go online. No, do you have anything to say to your opponents you played today? Oh, of course you do. Uh, it was easy. It was easy work. <laughs> I already knew we were going to win. Big shout go sub to my Twitch. No other Prodigy 12 is September. Go give me subs. Wow. Okay. Damn. All right. Damn. <laughs> this is a big bird. Pay for me. <laughs> um, I mean, I feel like our team was honestly very strong uh, to the point where Zen still hasn't even played. <laughs> Zen still hasn't. But I just want to give this, de dedicate this victory to Hurricane because he, said, <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> because he said he doesn't even need to see the other teams. And he said that the birds teaming up would, doesn't mean it's an auto win because we lost an SFL. But this is different because you Damn. have to be every single one of us. Damn. And he owes me money. Send me my bread. Wow. <laughs> Get out of here, Noah. <laughs> All right, sorry, Mr. Nephew, anything to say? You guys need to uh, stop. I'm glad we could show that we're the best region. Uh, in the world? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're, the, we're the best region. And uh, shout out to my teammates for carrying me. Oh, awesome. Wow. All right. Mr. Xiao Hai. Hey. I'm so lucky uh, because my teammates are so strong. <laughs> Big Bird, Loa, Lefty, Zin. But he never played today, right? <laughs> uh, uh, it's so funny for the team team tournament, yes, uh, because I just know, oh, Spain, Germans, uh, France, uh, England, so strong team. Yo, it's so interesting, interesting today. Before I, Shen takes the mic, I want to reiterate one more time. This guy did not play a single game, game all today. day. I just want to make sure we heard that. All right, do you have anything to say to the opponents you did not play today? Well, back up, Uh My opponents were all very strong, but I didn't have to play. So, Damn. you know, this is the best team when you can win, but you don't even have to play. Damn. <laughs> all right, we're going to round of applause for Team World in general. Give it up, everyone. He said the real MVP. All right, now, Noah the Prodigy, raise up high. Here's your new prize. You're sticking your bag. Give it up for Noah the Prodigy. Hey, these guys, this That's UFA, not, you this UFA bag award, became my dude. favorite travel bag, by the way. It's a really good one. The naked stick right, as well. That's the one I here. use. Up next, we have Big Bird. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have the mic some more? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Of course, and a big shout-out to Nacon right, for sponsoring today. All of the cash prizes provided by Nacon, the makers of the stick that you can see on screen right now. Uh, it is the one I play with, and it's an excellent one. I really like it. I'm having a lot of fun. But of course, Shao is still going to play with his golden stick regardless. He's got a collection. I don't even know if he's going to take that back home. <laughs> Bro, he's getting a prize for doing nothing. Oh, what? This, is, this is the hardest work day on Earth. Dude, he got a stick for smiling. Smile and wave, boy. Smile and wave works. You thought these men were bugging when they told you to say smile and wave. Nah, smile and wave gets you far in life. Trust me. Look at that. 
That is that's crazy. That's brilliant. <laughs> oh my god. This is the one you know right, no need to play. I believe you guys do win some money. I'm not in control of the money, so don't come to me for it. But I do believe you guys got this prize as well as some cash for your winnings. So one more time, congratulations to Team World for winning the UFA Street Fighter 16 tournament. Give it up one last time.